Hello guys, welcome back to another video, oh you can see my sliders, <laughs> welcome back to another video, so in today's video I'm going to be unboxing, set up and reviewing the Tender AV 1000 gigabit power line pass through kit thing, um, so this is replacing a TP-Link Wi-Fi extender power line adapter since the Wi-Fi on it was, was really bad, um, the Ethernet was alright but I've returned that now, I've got a more detailed video coming out soon on my home network, I've bought because obviously this doesn't have Wi-Fi, so I bought a separate D-Link router for this room, so I'll have an unboxing video on that, and it'll be in the network setup thing. But I've been wanting to get a new power line adapter for ages, but like I spent 40 quid on the other ones, so it was like, yeah. But these ones were uh, £27, I believe, and it's got the, it's gigabit, the other one only did 10, 100, so the fastest you could get was 100 megabytes, so I only have like 30 megabytes internet anyway but it's also got the pass through, the pass through plug because we used to just have the router and the power line adapter plugged in downstairs but then we got hive which is like where you control the heating from your phone and that so the hive hubs plugged in as well and we're using we're using one of these and these are like kind of dangerous because it's too open of a space to have an extension either just look ugly so basically what we can do is I plug this in and I'll plug the hive hub straight into this so yeah let's just get into the unboxing and I'll do a speed test, I've got my laptop out, I'm going to do a speed test with the laptop plugged directly hardwired into the router downstairs and then I'll set these up and then I'll show you the speeds that is from up here but I won't really be using my laptop on this but I will there we go hey. oh they're a lot smaller than I thought, they look really big in the pictures that's not actually a bad thing, I'm quite happy with the smaller um, basically, there's no dedicated one that has to be plugged into the router, it's just whichever one you like really. They are quite heavy to be fair, they're a lot heavier than the TP-Link ones. But obviously they've got the electronics inside to do the pass-through port. If anyone's interested, these are completely safe, the pass-through ports. It's just like, pretty much just like being plugged into a wall socket really, because it's a direct pass-through. And these, you, as you can imagine, these use, these use basically no power, they're very low power devices. So yeah, one of them will be plugged in up here. And one of them we plugged in downstairs. Now, when you set these up, they recommend you put them both on like a power strip together or something, but because they have the highest chance of connecting. But now nah, I just um, also saves you running around your house. But I'm just I would just I have no problem with plugging them in how they're going to be and then running around to set them up. And yeah, I assume this is the pair button. We'll have a look at the instructions. So yeah, now under here we've got two grey Ethernet cables. Now, I've read in the reviews that these Ethernet cables are quite short, but oh well, at least it comes with them. I think these are, I don't know. Uh, but all my Ethernet cables are really long, and a lot of the time I don't need them to be that long. I've already got an Ethernet cable downstairs that's cable managed in, because we've got the router on the windowsill. So there's already a yellow one there that didn't, it didn't come with my other ones. Um, but that, there's already one down there that I can use, and this, this cable's kept its shape pretty well. We'll actually have a look at the instructions because these are different to the TP-Link ones. Uh, quick installation guide. Oh, please tell me. No. No. It's one of the half annoying ones. Yeah, so this is true. You're not meant to put them on, a pa on an extension lead. Because, um, well, they do work on extension leads. But I think it won't work if it's a surge protector. But at the same time, it's like... You're really stupid if you feel the need to put this on the extension lead because it's literally got a plug on it. So like you could just plug this into the wall and then plug the extension lead into it. Like so, yeah. Press plug in your plug in your adapters. Hold down the pair slash reset button on one adapter for one second, and wait for it to yeah. And then pretty much do the same on the other one, and then they should light up and stay connected. Yeah. So. Hate these, I hate these types of instructions. Like, why does it need to feel the need to be so big? Why couldn't it just be a book? So, before I go downstairs, I'm just going to put this one in up here. So, now I could plug something else into it, like I just could plug that into there. But basically, when I get the router, I think I'll probably plug that into it. These are two Ethernet cables I've got because the other one had two ports on it. So, this is another reason why I'm getting the router for in here. Um, so this one goes to my Xbox, it runs like underneath there and then down the radiator to it. And this one goes into my PC, so you know what, I'll just plug that straight in now. So this is the setup. Now I'm going to plug, I'm going to move these around because I want to have the router plugged into the there. Because this is, like, I don't know, 
because like the Ethernet cable is not that long. Because the Ethernet cable is not that long, so yeah. And then I'll plug this into here, and I can still see that. Oh, I think they've actually connected already. So they're literally already connected. So that's actually pretty good. Sorry about the Hoover, but they've connected themselves. I think, and that's what it looks like. So yeah, it looks to me like they've linked because all their lights are lit up. Um, there's no internet yet because obviously I had to unplug the router so there's no actual internet going into it but they're connected like look unidentified network no internet access yet so it's connected now for some reason but well, basically I had that PT Hub 5 in here and that's SSID was Charlie's room Wi-Fi and now no matter what's plugged into the Ethernet bot it comes up saying Charlie's room Wi-Fi probably need to like clear the DNS settings or something like that I don't know I'm not an expert on this, but let's actually just do a speed test right here. Obviously, I'll do one on my laptop once it's done. I'll do one downstairs and then do one up here, but just want to see that I'm getting as expected. Yeah, that's pretty much as expected. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. Happy with that. That's faster than I got on the other extender, actually. Oh, on the other power line adapter. I'm almost getting my, the full 30. Yeah, yeah. It's not very often I see 30 on a speed test. It is normally around 27. So that is an improvement over the TP-Link ones. Much more reliable. I don't know whether it's actually transferring data at gigabit. Because the other the TP-Link one said hey, AV600. But then I went on the TP-PLC app and it said they were linking together at um, 300 megabytes a second. So not actually sure. But then again, we are upstairs, so it's different. I'm not sure whether these have like a login page or something, but I wouldn't imagine since there's not really any settings, is there? It says they can be 300 metres apart, but it just depends on your home's wiring. Laptop's on now, so I'll do a speed test with it directly plugged into the router downstairs, and then I'll do one with it plugged into the... I know I just showed you a speed test, but just do it on the same computer, really. So I'll show you one on the um, extender upstairs. So got it connected to the power line adapter now and let's just run another speed test. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Um come back for my um root unboxing and my um and my network video if you're interested more in that, so yeah. Thank you.